break stuff, I so okay. Limp Biscuit is sort of in this world of like bro rock, violence, new metal, sort of like I think anti woman in a sense. You know, no, there's like punching. Right. And so there's, um, you know, all these associations. And I think to me, what's exciting about covering a song is totally recontextualizing it. And for me, Break Stuff was the big, big challenge. Um, the reason that I wanted to do it is because the first line of the song kept coming to me during COVID at the beginning of COVID. You Just know? one of those days where you don't want to wake up. Yeah. Everything. Yeah. I, can I swear? Yeah. A everything is fucked and everybody sucks. And I, and I just like, you know, I think for a lot of us, this pandemic for the calm, polite people, it, it has, you know, you feel like, like, what am I supposed to do? I normally get to like be on stage and yell and, and get it out that way. I have no way to get it out. I'm stuck in my, I'm stuck in my house. And I wanted to see if I could find a way to engage with that sentiment of aggression and frustration and recontextualize it in what I hope is, is a self-aware manner. And that was really like, I tried doing that cover a bunch of different ways. That thing was like a pain in my ass, but I felt really proud of where it ended up, to be honest. It's hard to find that perfect line where you're not making fun of the song, but you're not just rehashing the song as well. Correct. And I think like what I, you know, sort of one of my, over, <laughs> oh, that's quite a compliment. Um, one of my overarching goals with this is like, okay, well, I'm I'm a woman. I'm that's I've been socialized as such, and I'm I'm very comfortable being vulnerable and open. Um, you know, for a lot of young boys and men, they are not socialized to feel comfortable uh, with that kind of like really raw emotionality. And I think a lot of music that's made by men, particularly in the '90s, did have a lot of real emotion in it, but was expressed in this incredibly angry way, um, an incredibly aggressive way. And so I wanted to kind of like reframe that and reconsider it. Like self-esteem by the offspring is a devastatingly sad song. Actually. It is really so sad. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah. I, and I, and so I think like with break stuff, I, I'm trying to come at it, I guess with some compassion and say like, well, if you felt, if you felt like totally enclosed and unable to express yourself your, your whole life to the point where all you want to do is just break something. Um, how, how can I sing about that in my own way? Because I'm feeling that too. <laughs>